guys, Sarah here from So Sarah Style. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm just doing a little bit of a recap on things I've been doing over the past few days and I wanted to share a sewing fail. I've been on a bit of a high, to be honest, recently. Um, loads of things that I've been making have gone right and I've really liked them. So I think it was about time I took a tumble. Um, so <laughs> I'll be sharing that with you shortly. So first of all, I just wanted to talk about um, the fact that I went to the Staffordshire Social first anniversary on Saturday and it was such a lovely day uh, well I only went for the morning I could I had something on in the afternoon but because I'd been to the first one um, and a few in between I felt like I really needed to be there for um, to celebrate the first anniversary Sally the Staffordshire sewist who runs it just puts on such an amazing social every week there's raffle prizes and the most amazing cakes um, she often has little gifts for us as well, which is so thoughtful. So obviously um, this week was no different. So um, there were amazing gifts, which I will show you in a minute. And um, I know there was a huge rainbow cake. I didn't I didn't manage to stay for that, but um, just loved catching up with everybody. The girls there are so lovely. Everybody's really interested in what each other is making and any help that they can give advice, sharing ideas. Um, it's such a lovely group of ladies. Unfortunately, um, uh, Sally's partner in crime, the other Sally, so they are the two Sallys on Instagram. Um, it was a real shame because she wasn't very well, so she wasn't able to make it. So we did miss her. Um, but I know she was sort of, she was there in spirit and we were sending her photos and things. So we missed you, Sally. So anyway, right, I will get on to, um, when, when we arrived, we'd got a little gift bag on each of the tables and um, it was here. And on top of the gift bag, that was all wrapped up. On top of the gift bag, bless her, she had got these fabulous flashing headbands. So we all had these on just to get us into the mood. Um, and then in the bags, it was all wrapped up beautifully. We had a party popper, which, oh, I didn't stay long enough to pop mine. So I'll have to do that. In fact, let's just do it now, shall I? <laughs> there you go, Sally. That's for you. <laughs> um, we had one of those and, oh God. Um, and then this, which I've never seen one of these before, a spool pod from um, Pattern Trace. And it's like a silicon um, um, tray that you can obviously keep your spools and your bobbins in to stop everything tangling up. So um, like it does in my room, my bobbins especially are an absolute nightmare. So thank you so much, Sally. That's an absolutely brilliant idea. Um, so as always, there were there was a swaps table and um, I picked up, well, I didn't pick up anything. I took, I took some stuff, was determined not to bring anything home. So I went like that at the swaps table, managed to escape. And then um, Beck from What Beck Sews turned up with some fabric and she said, Sarah, I've got the perfect fabric for you. I know you're gonna like it. So have a look at this before I take it to the swaps table. Well, she was right. Hang on, I'll just take the <laughs> bits of party popper off. Um, it's this gorgeous chocolate brown um cord and it's all a bit creased now sorry but uh, i've got to get that all ironed so um i took it with me but i said to myself i'm only going to take it if i'm going to use it so i got it home and um it's it's brown which i love but it's cord which is too heavy we're going into the summer so what then i decided to do was i have got some um some brown fabric in my stash which is the same color uh, which is here. I'm going to show you a little bit of it um, because this has been made into something. And so I thought, right, I'll do one in, one out. So if this is coming in, um, then I can use this for the summer. It's a fairly, it's a really lightweight voile and make something from that. So then that justifies bringing this in, if you know what I mean. So thank you very much, Beck, for that. Um, that will be used probably for something like maybe an Ilford jacket or... Um, the uh, Blanca flight suit or something for for autumn that'll be waiting for me in autumn which is beautiful so I'm really pleased with that um so the other thing that um, was handed to me as well again uh, so I couldn't refuse is this pattern it's a new look 6614 now this is actually although it doesn't look like it it's for stretch and it's only which is exactly why Donna was was giving it away because she said she she just doesn't sew with knits so I need to find a suitable um fabric to go with that because I'm thinking it says single knits but to me that um crossover bit would just be too floppy in a single knit so I'm not sure really but I think 
or could po possibly do the one that's just got the tie around the, around the front. It's a really nice shaped dress for the summer. So that's, that's a possibility, definitely. So those are the two things that I took away with me. I could probably take this off now. Um, yeah, so as I say, I only um, stayed for half the day. Hang on, I'm just trying to turn this off now. <laughs> And I took with me because I wanted to, I knew that I'd be chatting and catching up. I didn't want to, and I was only going to be there for a couple of hours. I didn't want to take anything too involved. So I am making the toile, as you know, for the um, pattern, no, for the puff and pencil tie front blouse. And I'm making the ruffled collar. So this, this is the ruffled collar and it takes, um, the ruffle is two and a half metres long or two point two meters long something like that so I wanted to just take this and I thought well I can sit and I can ruffle it and I can just pin it you know while I'm chatting got there and obviously what I wanted to do was use my famous um dental floss trick which is zigzagging over the dental floss which means that you can obviously slide it up and down um I completely forgot in a panic uh, packing everything last minute dot com to take the dental floss so that meant that I went on a lovely little walk into Penkridge which is where the Staffordshire Social is held to find the pharmacy and buy the dental floss that's how important the dental floss was for me because everyone was saying oh well just just sew it and pull it and but to be honest I knew that if I did that with 2.3 meters and it's quite a thick cotton um, the cotton probably would have snapped and to be honest <laughs> I think I would have snapped as well so anyway I got back with the dental floss and you can see just what a, what a you know sort of brilliant hack it is really we've because it's got to go around corners as well you can it's just so easy to slide along and then pin into place and you can wiggle it and you can move it honestly this is the best um way to for me to gather long pieces of fabric anyway so that's a little tip there for you so i will move on to talking now about my um, slight fail my sewing fail so when as I say I got back and I thought well I can't use the cord because it's too heavy so I'm going to use some my brown fabric now this is this is it actually slightly made up this is in a heap the heap of shame um, so this is the fabric I a while ago I had pinned, I'm sure you're all the same, going through Instagram and I found a really, a, just a gorgeous picture of the Hera set by Veronica Tucker, the label. And somebody had made, in fact, it's a, it's a girl called Manda Maker had made. And she was on a, she was on a yacht looking very glamorous in this absolutely gorgeous white um, puff sleeve top. And, um, and then it's sort of like a gathered skirt. She looked fabulous. So I put it into my saved box as inspiration, thinking, well, I'd quite like to do a two piece like that. I think it would be a really nice um, thing for the summer. Um, quite fancied making it in brown because I like brown and kind of browns in at the moment. So I thought, right, now's my chance. I'm making something brown to replace the brown that Beck had given me. As I say, here it is. So um, because the Veronica, the, the Hera set is actually really quite puffy and um, poofy and, and quite the, the skirts quite um, got quite a lot of, of volume as well. I knew that that wouldn't work for me. I'm not particularly tall. I don't like huge um, volume. So I thought, right, I want to use patterns that I've already got. I've already got the skirt for the... Um, the Clementine, the Mood Clementine pattern that I made for the dressmaker's ball. And I also had printed out the Salma Gathered Raglan top, which is from Tiana's Closet. So actually it's a completely free outfit again. Um, so I thought, right, I will use both of those patterns. I'll just shorten the Raglan um, top and, and go for it with the skirt. So the skirt's plain, which is what I quite like. It's got pockets though. And the top, what I liked about it is it's got these, um, the raglan sleeves, but it, there's gathering into the raglan at the front and the back. So I thought, well, that'll add a little bit more interest. Little puff sleeves, not too much volume. I'll just chop it off and add some elastic round the middle. So that's what I did. And um, to be honest, I'm not even going to put it on and show you. I know I do love my little try on <laughs> sessions, but um, I'll insert a little bit of footage of me prancing about in it and I'll put some pictures in. 
Um, I feel a little bit house on the prairie, to be honest. I have um, sort of styled it up with a necklace, which definitely helps. And I've got a little gold bag, which goes with it as well. So I'm not saying I'm not going to wear it, but I just think it needs a little bit of um, bedding in, shall we say. I think it's, um, yeah, the, the initial feeling is, it's just a bit, I think it's because there's a lot of brown as well. So it, it might be that. And also I'm just not used to that silhouette um, to have the elasticated waist and the big skirt. Um, it's not generally my style. So maybe it just isn't ever going to be my style. Um, but like I say, I'll, I'll put some pictures in and, and you can see what you think. So that was, um, that was my slight sewing fail. I did like it with jeans, um, by the way. So I'll pop a picture of me in in with jeans so it's not a total fail and I will wear it um but it's whether yeah it's how I feel about it so it might just be a sunny day might come along and I think right I'm going to pop that on and wear it nice pair of shades and a bag and actually it might work but at the minute straight off out of this off the sewing machine I'm not so sure um so that was that and the other thing I just wanted to show you was I have made a couple of fabric purchases as well. I really, really want to make the Avenir jumpsuit. And so went on to Rainbow Fabrics to have a look at what they had and found this um, X Zara Brodery Anglaise cotton, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. I love the shape of the flowers. Look at me in sort of florals and florals, what's going on. Um, but I think this will make a really nice Avenue jumpsuit. I just need to obviously think about something to line the um round the round the sort of the middle, the bottom, kind of sort of shorts length, I think. Whether I can actually self-line it, I don't know. That might work. Um but anyway, I need to look into that. So I think that that will make a really lovely Avenir jumpsuit. And then obviously while I was on there, I had to have a look around. The other one I found was this, which is really me in terms of the print. It's another, um, it's one from Joanne. So um, it's uh, sand dollars and um, uh, starfish and shells. I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. But I think the colour, even for me, is a little bit bland. So I think it's going to be the lining for the Heather Blazer. I really want to make a, um, a Heather Blazer uh, with shells on it. And um, I will put in a picture, actually, of the fabric that I want to use. And I'm thinking it might make a really nice lining for that. And also, I want to um, quilt it and make a really lovely big beach bag. <clears throat> so it's not completely wasted. I just don't think that I will wear it next to my face. I don't think it's going to do me any favours at all. So um, those were the two fabrics that I bought. Um, and I think that is... I think that's pretty much it for, for today. Um, I will definitely get back to you um, soon with my makes. So I've got two more blouse outfits to do, two more co-ord sets. Um, so it's the, the Burda uh, co-ord set that I was talking about and also the swim style pattern, not the swim style, the puff and pencil tie front blouse. So um, I have actually got quite a few plans. So I've got to do those two. And also I am still working on my um, uh, closet core crew outfits. So the first one is the alabaster t-shirt top, which I still haven't done. That's from last month. And this, this month is the mica dress, which looks absolutely gorgeous. Again, it's right at my street. It's really, really simple. I think it'd be lovely for the summer. Um, it's sort of a slightly cut away um, top, high neck, cutaway top, button side, no zips. Um, it's just a really fitted dress, which really, which looks beautiful. So I can't wait to get going on that. Um, so that's definitely, I think, enough to keep me going for the next few weeks. In the meantime, happy sewing. I will catch up with you soon. Take care. Bye.